There's a new set of tires. Let's see. Completely been wiped out. It's been flat spotted them very badly. Uh, this could be brought on for a couple reasons. One, it's raining and sometimes the brake pads stick, things like that, and the driver doesn't pay attention. Otherwise, I look for other signs of brake problems. So here's one sign, looks like that's been beat on, meaning the slack adjuster has been stuck. Uh, other indication is looking at that, kind of looks a little charred or a little overheated, which means it could be dragging, it could be sticking. Uh, also, the wear on this one, compared to the other side, doesn't look a whole lot different. But, uh, anyways, indications sometimes cams, bushings get frozen up. So I'm going to check the brakes on this one. So, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm checking the travel on this rod, and it seems like uh, it's binding somewhere. You can tell it's not really good. Really so I still have the air applied, so I'm going to check the right side, which uh, seems to have a lot more travel uh, than the left. So yeah, it just doesn't seem to be retracting all the way. So there's a way to determine how much travel these rods are getting. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and compare the left side here. Uh, so with the air on, I'm going to go ahead and mark both these rods. So now with the brakes in the applied position, I'm going to go ahead and compare these marks with each other and see where we are. So I've determined by my marks that the right side is getting a full inch of travel and the left side is only getting about a half inch. So I've determined that inside of the left side chamber, the spring is busted and so it's not allowing this whole travel. So this is just one way uh, to check the travel and make sure everything's working properly or discover uh, what's wrong.